What's going on there, YouTube family? It's your boy D. Uh, back at you once again, and today we have a rare occurrence. Um, LaFonda is actually here at the house, and uh, today she's gonna end up getting her 500 mile oil change. And uh, everybody already knows what that means once the 500 miles is done. You can open it up a little bit. You can't track it yet, but you can open it up a little bit. And uh, yeah, baby, there she goes right there. And so um, I'm about to give you all something that I've never done. This is actually the first time I've done it. So cold start. I can get on it now. That's why he's laughing, because he knows it's true. <laughs> well, everybody, there goes my baby right there. Here for the first oil change. So I'm trying to see if I can get in. And, uh... No, we're not. But we have to go ahead to um, check out the oil change process, which is awesome. So, uh, Jeff Dobson at Palenka, uh, he went ahead and said everything was good to go. I was able to go back there, so appreciate it. Uh, if you have, if you're in the Northern Virginia area and you need your car, or your oil change, or anything like that, make sure you head on over to uh, Palenka in Chantilly. Um, awesome people, awesome service. So. That's uh, up on the uh, uh, up on the lift, getting its first oil change. I got my man Ryan over here, who's uh, the vet tech here, and uh, he's gonna kind of explain to you uh, the proper way as far as draining the oil because it has a dry sump oil system. What's going on, my friend? Uh, not much, man. We're just draining some oil. All right, so for this, you have two oil plugs. You got one in the front, and then you got one on the side here. All right. And then you got a PF64 on here, uh -huh. which you could put the R on there, which is for like a it's, it's for like a high performance filter. Okay. Which I'm gonna put on there for you, and then it takes Mobile One because it has a dry sump. Okay. So the Mobile One oil, I know that. Normally they say get the one that has Dexron 2. Yes. Um, is there any problem if someone wants to use Mobile One but it's not the full synthetic with Dexron 2? Is there any problem with using or you want to stick with what the I, I'd manufacturer... Stick with, I'd stick with whatever the manufacturer says to use. Gotcha. Just so you're clear on everything and mm -hmm. you're safe. That way you don't have to second guess anything, worry about it. It's, gotcha. just, it's done right the first time. Gotcha. Okay. So is there any particular order that's best to drain the... Uh, the dry sump and then the regular oil pan, or is there? No, just make sure you get both plugs and your filter, because if you only drain one, you're still gonna have oil up in there, and when you drop more in there, you're gonna overfill, overfill it. it. Yeah. And you 
just want to make sure you put the original plugs back where they came from. Okay. So that front one and the front side side. Gotcha. I just do it just in case, man. Okay. Yeah. Just to be safe. Yeah, definitely. How long you had this for? Uh, got it in December. Yeah. This thing's got nice, man. Thanks, man. I ordered it from a place in Alabama and had it delivered up here. So. Yeah, I've been, I haven't been able to get out there as much as I wanted to on it because of the weather and stuff like that in these Sport Hi. Cup 2s, yeah. yeah. They don't like the cold weather. Nah, they're not at all. <laughs> Uh-oh, let's check out. Yeah. Got that good Mobile One synthetic. And so this is the Dex, uh, the Dexos 2, everybody. So um, there's a lot of uh, information out there where you know people are saying, well, you can you can put this particular one, you can put the mobile one synthetic that you see at Walmart and stuff like that. So apparently, just to make sure that there's no problems or anything like that, like Ryan was saying, you just want to stick with what the manufacturer is uh, recommending, and that's the. Uh, Mobile One full synthetic with the uh, Dexos 2. So what does it normally call for? Like nine and a half quarts, and yep. then because of the uh, the residual that's in the dry sump or whatever. Uh -huh. So we do a nine and a half, and then we fire it up and check it, and then it's usually right at level. Yep. So as y'all probably heard, um, the car calls for, it costs for 10, but they only put 9.5 in there because of the dry sump. They're, once you drain all the oil out, there's still some residual, so they just put 9.5 in there. Alright everybody, that's it. And as always, if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you like the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, the channel is growing and it's just going to be more and more content being put out. And I'd like to thank each and every one of you for coming by. And uh, make sure you go ahead and hit that bell notification button as I told you before. That way, whenever I bring out any videos or upload any videos, you'll be first to be notified. So, uh, I think that's going to be it. I'm going to get on out of here open it up a little bit and uh, as always everybody remember everyone deployed out